Angel still looking for hit number one in the ball game. So one and two with one away. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? It seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. Guys will catch on quick. The 2-2. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Johnny Giovatella is stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another 1-2-3 inning. Yeah, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Now here it comes. On the ground to third. Fielded there by Bloomquist. And a low throw, but he's able to look this one right into the old breadbasket as he hangs on to end the inning. As we go to break, another look at a throw nicely handled at first. Back with more on our Wednesday night showcase right after this. Justin Ruggiano will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Center fielder number 12, Justin Ruggiano. Now the first pitch. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. The 1-0 -oh home. Oh, he checked his swing there and pops this one up. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. So with one away, let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. And both of these guys bringing it pretty good. 97 and 93 is the top recorded speed so far. Logan Morrison will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First pitch coming from Wilson. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Oh. 1 0. Oh. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Therefore, it is Ibar on to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. Mike Zanino will stand in. He grounded out his first time. First pitch coming. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And this is going to be a foul ball. Another 0-2 coming. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. And even on 0-2, you don't want guys to get into a comfort level up there. Here's Wilson's 1-2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Mariners are down in order, but they lead it 1-0. Eric Ibar will stand in to begin their half of the fourth with his guys still looking for their first hit of the ballgame. And still looking for their first base runner, too. Nine up, nine down. 
There's a fastball to start him off, but that misses for ball one. Now the 1-0. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And a sliding effort there, but that ball had eyes, and the leadoff man's on base to start the inning. And with that, he'll stretch that hit streak as he's now hit in eight straight games. David Fries will stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. Now here's the first pitch. High and away on the first pitch fastball there. It's ball one. He's set. Now the pitch. Runner goes for second. Now a ball hit hard towards center. And the hit and run works to perfection as it's into right for a base hit. And they keep rolling here. Their runners at the corners with still nobody out. This is one of the strengths of this angel lineup. They've got guys at the top of the order that can be real table setters. The first two are on. Kick off the inning. Mike Trout will stand in now with two on here and nobody out to begin the inning. And on the mound, he hasn't found himself in too many rough spots so far, so this might be his first real test of the ball game. No runs, two hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. Cruz has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. But he'll wisely think better of it as he retreats to third, and that's an important first down. Runner at third. He's got a big arm out there in right field, and he might have thrown this guy out by 20 feet if they tried to send him. Runners hit the corners here with one gun in the inning, and stepping in the former MVP, Albert Pujols. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. This is hit on the ground, but foul. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. You know, sometimes when you're thinking fastball, you try to get moving just a little bit early. And that's a good job of recognizing off speed and then holding back on the swing. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3-1. and one. Now the 3-1 pitch. This is foul right side. Runners are at first and third, one away. Full count pitch on its way. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. Come on, payoff pitch one more time. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Well, he allowed the first two guys to get on in this inning, and that's something you never want to do. But then he bears down. He gets the previous guy to fly out. Then he comes up with a huge strikeout right here. That's a good job to bounce back just when things were starting to look a little grim. Cole Calhoun. Get a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. First pitch on the way. There's the cut fastball, but it's low, 1-0. and oh. 1-0 pitch now. 2-0 and oh now. And after the strikeout his first time around, I think he was able to use that first at-bat as a learning experience. Those have both been real good takes. Runners at the corners, two men out. The 2-0 on the way. Here's a ground ball to first. A stab, and he's got it. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Brad Miller will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Second baseman, Brad Miller. Here's the first offering. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Here it comes. Fouled straight back.
pitch on the way. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Chris Taylor will dig in. He singled his first time around. First pitch coming. Grounded foul off to the right and over toward the dugout. One run, four hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. And you'd be in trouble at the plate if you fell behind 0-2 against this guy, so he's fortunate to hold up in time. Now look out as this is whistled foul off to the right side. Here's the 1-2. Now here's a swing and another chance out there at second. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. Willie Bloomquist will stand in now. He's struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 thus far. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Now here's the first pitch. A fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. One oh coming down to Bloomquist. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And that'll get over the wall. So forget about sending the runner. It'll be second and third now with only one away. That's the way you like to see your guys attack the baseball. The pitch is away, so he goes the other way. And this ball winds up hopping over the wall for a ground rule double. Here's Seth Smith now. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. Got to say, for a strikeout pitcher, not too many strikeouts here so far. And he's in a big need of one right here. It would definitely come in handy. Here's the 0-1 now to Smith. And he gets some pretty good wood on it here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2-0 game. Yeah. I don't know if they really had much of a shot at getting him at the plate, but that's good work to keep the other runner at second base. Robinson Cano will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. First offering on the way. Now a ball sliced hard on the ground. Diving is freeze, but it's past him. A fair ball. And the run will score from second here as this is now a 3-0 game. Oh, just a great approach there to get him an RBI on the base hit. And with the way their guy's throwing the ball, three runs might be enough to do it. Here's Nelson Cruz now. In the dirt here, but fortunately here, no advance. A runner on first with two away. Pause, now the pitch. Oh, and this at-bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Seems like we've seen a lot of guys late on the fastball tonight. And he's not full. And this one's in the dirt. And a heads-up play to get back to first as he wisely hadn't gotten too far from the bag. 1-2. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. C.J. Crone stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. 
If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game because right... Oh, and hold that thought as this ball is driven into the left center field gap. Should result in extra bases. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. Well, neither offense has really made a huge impact so far, but finally maybe a little sign of life. He drives this ball for two bases, and even though they've had trouble scoring runs, they're not out of this thing by a long shot. A couple more of these could get him right back into it. The 1-0. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. A couple of tight pitches here to start this at bat. You can't really say you're getting squeezed, but he's not really getting any help either. 2-1. Change up. Call to strike, and he comes back even at 2-2. Two two. Yeah, and it's hard to look for a change up there, especially when a guy's got a good live fastball. He'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. A runner at second, nobody out. Here's the 2-2 two two offering. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And he will make the catch here on the edge of the warning track as he was just able to get back there and put it away for the first down. Well, if this is a day game, this is a home run. You know, a night game, much different story here. This place just doesn't have the same kind of carry to it under the lights. This winds up being a long out to the warning track. Here's the first offering. And this is on the ground to third. Throw in time at first for route number two. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And standing in, the second baseman, Johnny Giovatella. And a drive out to deep right center field. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And they are on the board as the run scores from second to narrow the gap to 3-1 now. So a struggle that time for him in center field. And as a result, he'll be tagged with the E8 on the play. And here's the first pitch. Grounded to third. On to Morrison at first, and that ends the inning. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Back with more on our Wednesday night showcase right after this. Fernando Salas will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. Some stirring now in that angel bullpen as it'll be both a lefty and a righty that start to get loose. Dustin Ackley will grab a bat and lead things off here in the top of the sixth. Dustin Ackley. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. You know, that's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But a foul ball, one and one. Here's the one-one pitch. Freeze with it over at third. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Logan Morrison will try it again. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a ground ball thus far. First pitch to him. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. And the pitch. Now a sharply hit ball back up the middle, and he's got himself a base hit. As we look at that again, you know, this is not a bad pitch by any stretch. If he throws this pitch ten times, I bet he gets him out nine of them. But here you just have to tip your cap to the guy at the plate. Here now is Mike Zanino. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls in the strike. He's ready now. The pitch. Oh, he looked like a caveman swinging a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. <laughs> that 
got in his kitchen big time right there. From the stretch. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Brad Miller will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Come on now. Let's get a K right here. First pitch coming. Swing and a high chopper to third. Barehanded at his knees. On to Giovatella for the force, and that'll end the inning. One left for Seattle, but they hang on to a 3-1 to one lead. Dustin Ackley will stay in the ballgame as he takes over in center. David Freeze will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time, and then a base hit last time around. Yeah, you know as a pitcher, sometimes you can just say, hey, that one got away from me. It slipped. Claim to make. This one definitely doesn't pass the eye test for me. I'm a little bit surprised that the home plate umpire is letting that thing go. Mike Trout will stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. There's a line drive, and he's swinging it as good as anyone, folks. The streak will continue. He's got a base hit. And that'll extend his hit streak as well as he's now reached a Baker's dozen. 13 ball games. Albert Pujol stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. Just want to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Now time is called, and this could very well be to buy a few more pitches for those relievers. And double-barreled action now in the Mariner bullpen as both a left-hander and a right-hander start to throw. Fouled back. He's set. Now the pitch. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. And here's where the Angels just have to start coming up with a key hit or two. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And a wild pitch here as this one's to the backstop. So now two men in scoring position. Now the 2-1 two, pitch. And this one is over, and he works the count back to 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, a little surprising he didn't offer it that one. That was a dangerous spot for a good fastball hitter. And Albert swings and misses as he set down for the first down. You can't underestimate how important a start this is when your team's on a losing streak. He has been phenomenal. And it's all thanks to him that they've got a good shot at ending this thing. Cole Calhoun will dig in for the third time now. Struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball in there for a called strike. Kind of interesting to see how he's going to respond to this situation that he's worked himself into. Yeah, he hasn't found himself in too many tough spots, but he's got one now. Now the 1-1. One, one. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Here comes the 1-2. It's two. a so two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2 two -two coming. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Now another 2-2. Two -two. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Some anxious moments now in that first base dugout. Yeah, he cannot be liking what he's seeing, that's for sure. We're in the sixth inning here in a 3-1 to -one ball game. The 3-2 pitch. And he looks at one that misses ball four. So that'll load him up, but at least the double play is in order here with one away. Well, that's okay. You would have liked him to chase on three and two, but you had your base open here, so now you can really focus on getting yourself a ground ball. C.J. Crone will stand in now in one of the bigger at-bats of the ballgame to this point, as he'll do so with the bases loaded. And that key hit still hasn't shown up yet. Like you say, you've got the bases loaded. You just wonder, how many more of these opportunities are you going to get? Foul back. Bases are loaded with only one out. And now we'll step off the rubber here and just look him back to third. Come set, now the pitch. 
And he got him. So two outs now, and with one big out still to go, they may be able to get out of this mess with the lead intact. And now, you know, you've got the bases loaded. You can't let this guy off the hook. This has been your best chance so far. You've got to at least get something out of it. Matt Joyce will get a chance here in one of the bigger spots in the ball game thus far. Base is loaded now with two away. Now the first pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. That man's team has definitely shot itself in the foot with all the strikeouts so far. It seems like it's been a growing trend so far, but man, you just got to be able to put the ball in play when you've got runners in scoring position. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Here at the plate, you just need to be thinking base hit here. A grand slam, that'd be sweet, but a single should be enough to tie up this game. So 1-1 one, one home. And this ball sits sharply through the first base coaching box. It's a foul ball. He's ready. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first. He'll be in time. And a good chance for the Angels goes for naught as the side is retired. Angels threaten but leave them loaded. Score holds. It's 3-1. Back here at Angel Stadium of Anaheim. The Mariners out in front of this one as we move to the seventh. But before it gets underway, let's give you a look at the game summary to this point. Chris Taylor will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Shortstop, Chris Taylor. The pitch. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. Now, pitch on the way. Freeze with it over at third. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Willie Bloomquist will get another crack, one for three thus far. First pitch coming. Not even close on that swing. No balls in the strike. You know, it's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. 3-1 our score. Now here's the pitch. Swing, hard hit ball to second. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. The left over number seven, Seth Smith. Seth Smith will stand in. He drove in a run with a sack fly his last time. Go! Now here's the first pitch. And he'll start him with a fastball that misses down and away for a ball. 1-0. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's the 1-0. Now a high bouncer toward the hole. On to first with it is Pujols, and he steps on the bag for the third out. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Bottom of the seventh now from Anaheim. Get up and stretch. Seattle leads this one 3-1. Chris Iannetta will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. First pitch on the way. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Cruz is under it to tuck this one away, and it's a one pitch out to begin the home half of the seventh. Johnny Givatella will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around. An outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. For that man right there, just the one run allowed. The question is, can he make that lead stand up? Well, he hasn't shown too many signs of cracking so far. He's got the look of someone right now who's ready to go the distance. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Now the pitch. 
And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Oh, he's definitely had his way with the bottom of the lineup so far. They've got only one hit against him combined, and he sets another man down on strikes right here. Eric Ibar will step in, a ground out victim his last time. Now the first pitch. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. E.K., the starter creeping up on 100 pitches now, but that number alone doesn't appear to be affecting him too much at all. Yeah, he still looks sharp. Still, with the way that teams handle pitchers nowadays, I don't think he'll wind up going much further. Now here's the pitch. Now a ball line foul as this is over the Angel dugout. Two out, nobody on. Here comes another 0-2. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Here's another 0-2. Now a ball sprayed foul into the seats near third. The 0-2 once more. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. But that will kick off the scoreboard out there in right. And he will stroll in there standing with a two-out double. Oh, man, he had him down in the count, but he just couldn't seem to make that final pitch to put him away. And then the question becomes, does this thing have enough height to get over the wall? Well, here's the answer. It's not twice, but he didn't miss it by much. Now here comes the Mariner skipper out to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So as he departs, he'll remain responsible for the man left to board, but he cannot lose this one. Tom Wilhelmson will get the ball looking to get the final out now here in this seventh inning. Tom Wilhelmson. David Freeze will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. First pitch coming. And he gets around on the fastball here as this is hit well out toward left field. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Robinson Cano will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so with the same pitcher still out there. Seems he's earned himself another inning. I think that's a definite vote of confidence, but he's done a nice job since coming in, so you might as well ride that hot hand. Now a changeup misses here to begin the eighth. It's 1-0. and oh. one oh on the way. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Now the 1-1 one and one pitch. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd. Foul. Now the pitch. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Yeah, I don't think this is a guy you want to mess with here. He can hurt you in more ways than one. Here's the two and two home. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one.
Robinson Cano, a solo home run, as the Mariners have opened up a 4-1 lead. Oh, and insurance runs come at a premium at this late stage of the ball game. And like you said, Matty, that makes this a three-run game now. And they still need to get six outs, but at least now you've got a little bit of breathing room. New pitcher set to take over now, and it's the left-hander out of Long Beach State, Cesar Ramos, that gets the call. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Face is empty here with nobody out. Now here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here, 0-2. You know, a lot of times with a sinker baller out there, you're just conditioned to always look for something down. So he can surprise you with that high fastball, maybe four-seam it every once in a while, and when he does, he can forget it. Ready with another 0-2. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Another 0-2 coming. And a good two-strike pitch, but he misses high 1-2. and two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty purple. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Dustin Ackley will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Fastball that gets the inside corner. Strike one. Here's the pitch. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. And now a pitch on the way. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Now a swing and another ball that I believe will find its way into the seats. Still 0-2. Another 0-2 home. Low and away with that one, it's 1-2. Well, he might have just said, look, you're going to have to take this one because you ain't fouling that one off. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw gets him to them. Logan Morrison will dig in. He singled his last time around. Now here's the first pitch. First pitch fastball in on the fists for ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's the 1-0. And a bouncing ball, foul. Ready now on one and one. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on it, especially when... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. But the Mariners add to their lead thanks to the solo home run. On now to the bottom of inning number eight. It's four to one in favor of the M's. Mike Trout will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Pitch on the way. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two living a little dangerously here. Yeah, you don't have to go looking for trouble. Trouble will find you if you're putting pitches there. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Four to one our score as we give you a look there at the starter comparison to see how the numbers match up for the two starters. Albert Pujols will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. Now here's the pitch. And quick wrists here as this is yanked down the third baseline. But a foul ball, 1 and 1. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. 
late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. Under it is Cruz now for out number two. This crowd oohs and ahs every time this guy hits a fly ball. But he didn't get all of that one, and it's pretty much a can of corn. Cole Calhoun. Come in now with two away, and to this point at least, so much for having the three, four, five guys get the rally started. Yeah, it's been an important inning for that man out there on the mound. He's held his ground, and he may get through the teeth of this lineup, still holding on to that lead. Oh, and he drives one into deep right center. A leap, but he won't get it. It's off the wall. And he'll round it and try for third. Oh, and he ignores the third base coach and heads for home. And he is out on a close play as he was trying to stretch it all the way. Angels go down one, two, three. They trail it four to one. Mike Zanino will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the night. Number three, Mike Zunino. Here's the first offering. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. This man out for a second inning of work, and why not? He set him down one, two, three the last time around. Right, and, and with two strikeouts mixed in there as well. Just let him keep going. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's another 0 2. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 2. Now another 0-2. And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick. And that's his third strikeout of the ballgame. Brad Miller will get another crack. One for three thus far. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. Throwing a lot of strikes. That's what you want. And he gets under this one and, in fact, breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here it comes. Strike. Chopper foul. Ready with another 0-2. Swing and a miss as he starts to frame with back-to-back -back strikeouts here. Three in a row going back to the last inning, and there are two away. Chris Taylor will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1. Oh, he's got him eaten right out of the palm of his hand now. Two strikeouts already here in the inning, and now he gets the third guy to go out. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Mariners as they hold on to a 4-1 to one lead. C.J. Crone will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Fernando Rodney is on now to try to close things down here in the ninth. Number 56, Fernando Rodney. C.J. Crone will be the batter. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. Oh, and you wonder if maybe he decided beforehand just to take a pitch up there first. Too bad for him because that thing was right down Broadway. 
Now the pitch. And a classic 0-2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's 1-2 and two now. Mm, tough pitch to lay off there with two strikes. I'm not sure if that was a good take or whether he just got fooled on a changeup and couldn't pull the trigger. Here he comes again, 1-2. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Again, a 1-2. Here now here's a ground ball that'll get by the mound and into center field for a leadoff single. Matt Joyce will stride in, grounded out his last time through. First pitch is a circle change for a called strike one. From the belt, the pitch, and a bouncing ball, foul. He's set, now the pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Oh, that's a sweet pitch right there. You know, on the mound, there's very few things that can happen negatively with this location. I mean, you're either going to swing and miss, you foul it off, or you hit it into the ground where it becomes a double play. But I'm sure on the mound, you'll take the strikeout. Chris Ionetta will stand in. He flew out his last time up. First offering on the way. Hit high and deep out to left field. He was a wall scraper, but it counts just the same. A home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Home run number five on the year as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. Ah, not the greatest at-bat thus far as he misses that pitch in the dirt and falls behind nothing in two now. And he'll be rung up here by Clyde Washington. Strike three at the knees, and there are two away. Eric Ibar will dig in. He doubled his last time. And Rodney with the good fastball out of the pen. No balls in a strike. Well, you can tell he's trying to work that pitch away, but he might have left that one a little more over the plate than he intended. And he gets him to swing through that one, so the Angels are down to their final strike now. And he goes with the 0-2 here as this is on the ground to third. Fielded there by Bloomquist. Throw on to first. will be in time to get him. And the Mariners will put an end to their three-game skid as this ball game is over. Well, that was a pretty shaky save, all things considered. He gave two of those runs back here in the ninth. But he winds up getting the job done in the end. And that's all that really matters. Ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went above and He needed just a little help to get out of that seventh inning, but all in all, that's six and two-thirds very strong innings for him on the mound. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Mariners win it 4-3. Good night from Anaheim.
our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Four runs on nine hits. Two errors. They left five men on base. The Angels. Three runs on nine hits. No errors. They left seven men on base.